Well, 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 howdy doody, my fellow Shoobies. Uh, welcome back to my channel, and I'm proud to bring you another episode here today. I'll be doing a unboxing and review of um, a great shoe I've been highly um, anticipating. And um, this is something that's going to be released this year. Um, it's an early look. So I, um, it's an early look at a shoe that is going to be released later um, this year. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So this shoe is not going to come out until um, I think next month. But we're going to get an early pre preview. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited about this one because I thought I was going to not get it until next month. But I was able to, uh, you know, um, I have a plug, so you know, I do my plug walk, you know, it's like Rich the Kid, the homie Rich the Kid, plug walk. We don't even know how to talk. <laughs> I got my plug walk. So yeah, look, look at the box, man. You should just tell by the box. You know, you already know what this shoe is about, what number it is, you know, what about as far as it being a retro. Um, so... It is a retro Air Jordan, and as you can see, you can see uh, it's this actually is a nine and a half, and we got it. It's a, the Air Jordan 13 uh, playoff. I'm gonna do the reveal right now for you so you can see it. and personal on y'all I don't got no sound effects as of yet I'm still working my channel I'm still trying to finesse it but y'all see what I got going on here I got these all black 13 playoff editions mostly black so we got the uh, what did it say on here was the uh, color black true red and white as you can see on the tag uh, black True red and white, something light. Actually, I don't think this is light. This is definitely something monumental for myself. I usually don't get pairs early. Um, so this is, you know, um, already I'm just stunned by how it looks. Um, very clean shoe. Look how clean this is. I mean, it just doesn't get any cleaner than this, you know? You got the hologram right there. 23 hologram so these actually re released they came out in 2011 i think was the last time they came out and then before that they may have released again but you know these came out when in 98 97 98 season uh jordan's last year and these are called the playoff thir they're known as the playoff 13s um so yeah i mean uh right, right away you see you got the the silhouette already. You can you can tell it's, it's Jordan 13. You got this part right here. Um, now this doesn't usually you're gonna you're gonna see like a 3M design, like as you would with uh, some of the other Jordans, like uh, like the Jordan 13 bread. You're gonna see the silhouette, and I don't know if you can catch the reflection, but you'll see this the the reflection of the now this part right here it's 3m so um it's a little different than well it's different than with this one because this one you got all leather um you know the the um the tongue right right here you see is got the jump man the circle logo that's pretty pretty awesome and you got the jordan right there part of right right there um what else the bottom right there the sole the outsole of it is nice too you got the neon green and then just the red some, some hits of white here but i like just how this looks it just just pops the color pops whether you look at it from far away whether you look at it from up close 
you know, I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, I mean, even, even if you look at the soul from far away, you can see just, you know, it just catches your eye. I mean, even though it, it kind of blends in, it's all black, it's just it's still sick, sick shoe. Look at that. You got the tumbled leather right there on the toe box. Look at that tumbled leather. You know, these are the real deal, you know? The real deal holy fields. Look at that. You can you can check out that precision right there. So precise. Look at all that. You know, look at the bottom, the, the outsole. I'm just giving you guys an, an up close look at it. Look at that tumbled leather on this part right here. It's just so clean. Then you got the suede right here. I mean, it just doesn't get, and you this go, can go with anything. But um, Jordan wore these in, they like this was the 98, 7, 98 season, his last season. Chicago won the championship. But Jordan um, wore these, I think in the playoffs. He did definitely wore them in the playoffs in the series, in the Indiana series. The Pacers, uh, it was Eastern Conference Finals, went, which went seven games. Um, you know, some people get Last Dance vibes of the ESPN, um, you know, eight episode series, which, you know, I'll rewatch over and over again. It's just an awesome series that ESPN brought to everybody. Um, it was just like a gift to everybody. So, you know, people get those vibes, Last Dance vibes um, with the shoe. For sure, and I can see that totally. I mean, they said Jordan, uh, the that uh, series, round three of the 98 Eastern Conference Finals was the Bulls' toughest probably series, one of the toughest series in their run to the champ their championships. Uh, it went seven games, and Bulls were just, you know, they may have, they almost were, may have lost that series, but they came back, gutted it out, won their sixth title. Props to the Bulls, you know, I'm, in all honesty to true to heart i'm a nick fan but so i really wasn't giving much props to the bulls then but you know as an adult i can definitely show appreciation to jordan to the bulls now um you know and and jordan was you know, iconic I, I love you know jordan what he stands for he's just his legacy his overall talent and skill in basketball he just changed the game and then his overall brand you know um, so props to that. Um, um, so yeah, other than that, I mean, th this is an awesome shoe. Like I'm just looking at it all from all different angles. And of course you got the hologram right there. It's an up close look at the hologram. It's still got the, the, the plastic on it. I'm not taking that off for a while probably. Um, once again, you see the sole and then your laces, your laces are just, you know, kind of like your ordinary laces here. Circular laces, nothing special, but um, definitely uh, it um, just, just is just another element of the shoe. Um, but when I when I think of this shoe, I think of also the um, NBA 1998 All-Star Game. Jordan brought these out in the All-Star Game of the 1998 NBA All-Star Game um, in New York. And... Um, he won the MVP of the All-Star Game in this shoe. You can watch the highlights. You can walk, try and go back and watch, you know, look at pictures, watch the, the game from that time. Um, that was the game Kobe first, you know, was introduced. It was his first All-Star Game. I think he was his second year, and he killed it. He lit up the garden, did that um, 360 dunk, coming off uh, another dunk alley-oop from Kevin Garnett. So, you know, I have here also, something that was from the 1998 All-Star Game in New York. And, you know, I wish Patrick Ewing would have been able to play in that All-Star Game, but he, he got injured that whole year because of his wrist. He, he dislocated his wrist. But this was a, a New York Times sports section of the NBA All-Star Game of that year. You can see it's February 5th, 1998, and it was the um, sports section right before the All-Star Weekend. And it had Michael Jordan, you know. Um, so, you know, it just brings back, for me, vibes of the 1990. When I think of this shoe, I think of not only the 98 season Jordan had, I also think of, you know, when I, 
um, people wearing them, but I also think of the 1998 All-Star Game. And, um, you know, you got Michael Jordan section here it being his playground. You can't really see any pictures of him wearing the, the, the uh, playoff 13 in it because the game didn't take place yet. But you'll see, you know, this is a picture of Michael Jordan right there. I think he's wearing the Cherry 12s. And then also the article, this is the article in here. Kobe. Kobe coming to the garden. So here's Kobe. It's showtime again in LA. And Kobe had a magnificent all-star game. His first all-star game coming off that slam dunk contest he won a year before in Cleveland. So um, that's what I think of when I think of this shoe. Now I have this shoe. I never had this 13 before, so I'm, I'm happy to have this. And I also got program right here of um, the 1998 All-Star Game as well. It's an actual official program that they sold in the arena. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I got it when I was in se yeah, seventh grade. Um, I didn't get to go to the All-Star Game, but... Um, you know, I was definitely, uh, I, I got the, the program. I, I remember going with my family just, you know, um, in the city that that um, weekend. And it was a little hectic. You know, we went to the Javits Center to check out the stuff they had going on there uh, for the All-Star Game festivities. But um, yeah, this is the official program they had. And um, yeah, so definitely I'm, I'm, I'm hyped about the shoe. I'm glad they brought it back. It comes out, it drops February 20th, February 18th, right around all, the All-Star game. Um, and you can get it for $200, I think it is. So it drops February 18th. Definitely get yourself a pair if you're a big fan um, of the 13s and just of the Michael Jordan heritage. Um, before I let you go, I'm going to just show you my other 13s. I got the, the Flints. I did a review on these before. The Flint 13s that dropped. Got a little bit of wear on them, not too much. Trying to keep it a little bit. Um, trying to just keep it in good condition. And then I got the breads. Definitely another shoe that Jordan wore in the finals, I think, too. So, um, and the, the, the 98 playoffs. Well, folks, um, I'm gonna keep it brief, but you know, once again, you can just see up close the Jordan. 13 Air Jordan Retro 13 Playoff Edition. Smooth. Look at that buttery soft. Once again, I'm gonna leave out with this buttery soft silhouette here. I don't even know what this this, this is called, but it looks like that foam, that uh, cushion that you have on like your bed post or like, on a furniture. It's like a furniture cushion. So I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Once again, thank you for joining me, and um, we'll see you on the next episode. You guys have a great, uh, this is a great start to the new year. Um, and I'm hope, hoping you guys can all, whoever's watching, um, whoever's into shoes, gets a good start to the new year too with these Jordan 13 playoffs. All right, y'all. I'm out. See y'all later.